Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope life is treating you extremely well. So, I decided to sell my car. That's, uh, that's what's going on with me right now. Because I just got the insurance bill. It was $653. And I was thinking that I drive my car like once a month, ever since getting my e-bike. So, you know what? It's time to finally do it. I'm going to sell my car, and if any of you guys have done a similar thing, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be very interested to know. But, okay, I have a main topic for this video, which is the best hub motor for an e-bike. Because one of my first videos was actually one of my most popular, and it was my video on the best e-bike conversion kits on the market. And in that video, I said how just about all hub motors are created equal. But okay, let's do some background. So when I say most hub motors are the same, it's because at the, at the core of it, it's all just a brushless DC motor. And the vast majority of them are produced in China. In fact, probably one or two factories makes all of the hub motors. But there's a lot of design choices and engineering that can make hub motors a lot better. It's just that the standard Chinese hub motors are bare bones. They don't have these features. So when you browse Amazon or Alibaba, the Chinese motors all have a few key things in common. The first is that they have pretty massive controllers, which isn't great. You have to think about the building process, all the wiring. It really does make a huge uh, impact on the final quality of your build. And along with that, you're going to want to have some kind of quick disconnect plug for the motor because inevitably you're going to have to take it off, do maintenance, change the tire. And the Chinese hub motors do not have this feature. You have to like unwire the entire build just to take off the wheel. I also have a bone to pick when it comes to the torque arms of these hub motors. So the torque arms are usually included in reputable uh, e-bike kits. But the standard torque arm is severely ineffective. And the reason why they get away with this is because if you look at the axle of these cheap Chinese hub motors, you're going to notice they have flat ends. And when you put that in the dropout of a bike, that is solely responsible for all of the torque of the motor. And spoiler, the dropouts of all bikes are not designed for this, especially once you get towards higher powered motors. It can actually become quite dangerous. Is anyone going to let me go? Yeah, so that spreading force that the axle puts in the dropouts can be very dangerous and cause a spin out. And if that happens, first of all, you can get very hurt and the motor is completely trashed, rips off the cable, and it's really not a fun situation to be in. And that's just a complete design flaw of these cheap Chinese motors. That's not how it should be. And a cheap little torque arm that's ineffective doesn't really solve the problem. Okay, but enough of the cheap Chinese motors. I think you guys see that they're not the most ideal design ever. So, in terms of the best hub motors on the market, they all come from one Canadian company that I kind of recently discovered, and it's called Grin Technology. I'm not affiliated with them, but I will leave their main website link down below. And what a beautiful little spot. Should I stop and sit? I'm going to stop and sit. <clears throat> Just for a minute. And what this company does is they partner with the manufacturers in China and they make actual meaningful changes, add new features, and I think it makes the motors significantly better. Now they do have a whole lineup of motors, but I'm going to focus on the top two in my opinion. Actually the top three. They have three really great options. And between these three, no matter what kind of build you're doing, one of them should be ideal and really the best choice that you have. So the first one is the GMAC, and this is actually a high-powered geared hub motor. And a quick little refresher on geared motors. If you're gonna be doing more off-roading, the geared motors have better low-end torque, and they're more efficient at climbing hills and just moving slower. But the GMAC isn't just any geared motor. This is extremely special. So some of the features that this company added Let's begin with the gears itself. So this is the only geared motor I, I'm aware of 
that actually has regen, even though it's a geared hub motor, and that's because it's a clutchless design. So this engineering choice gives you all the benefits of a geared motor, along with one of the major benefits of a direct drive, which is that regen. And fun fact, in the same way that the gears amplify the torque of the motor, it does the same thing with the regen. So you get like super regen with this motor. Okay, so that's just one upgraded feature. The next is that this hub motor accepts a cassette instead of a freewheel. All of the cheap Chinese motors are stuck on the freewheel, which is super old technology. A cassette is the more modern solution, and this is compatible with that. I also want to draw your attention to the axle of this motor, and you're going to notice that it doesn't have those flat edges to it, it's completely round. So of course that means that this motor doesn't rely on the dinky dropouts of your bike to withstand all of the torque of this motor. Instead it has an integrated, very beefy torque arm that's actually effective at transferring torque to the frame of the bike. This might seem like a small feature, but trust me, it makes a huge difference in just the safety of the bike. You're also going to notice that the connector on this motor is a very nice quick release and waterproof connector. So when you combine all of these features that Grin Technology has added to this motor, you can see how it is significantly better than the cheap off-the-shelf Chinese versions. And the controller that you plug the motor into is also very meaningful. And here, Grin Technology also has their own solution. You're looking at it right now, and the first thing I have to say is look how small and compact this controller is. That's going to make a huge difference in what kind of bikes you can put this on. The cable management is just a dream with this kind of a controller. All the connectors are that waterproof design. And in terms of battery compatibility, it goes all the way up to 72 volts, and I think all the way down to 36 volts. Now, the next one I have on the list is a direct drive offering from Grin Technologies, and this is their all axle hub motor. And as the name suggests, this is a hub motor that's compatible not just with dropouts, but also through axles. This has been a major issue of all Chinese hub motors, how they're only compatible with the old-fashioned dropouts because that's how they transfer all the torque to your bike. But much like with the GMAC motor, this has an integrated, very effective torque arm, so that gives them a lot more room to play around with the axle. And aside from the axle and that special feature, this shares a lot of the other features of the GMAC motor, including compatibility with their uh, phase runner controllers. And it's at this point that I want to acknowledge that you're not going to see watt ratings on these motors. So if you go to Amazon, you type in, you know, hub motor, you're going to see 1500 watts, 3000 watts. This company doesn't do that because the power of the motor is dictated by many factors, including things like how fast it's spinning at the current moment, any amount of thermal throttling that might be limiting its performance performance and to help you assess the performance of these motors they actually have a motor simulator tool on their website which i just kind of lost track of time playing with it was so much fun but okay let's talk about the final motor on this list and this is going to be their powerful direct drive offering and i think it goes by the name like rh212 something like that and this has all the benefits of any other direct drive motor in its simplicity and its raw power. Some of the major changes here is that this motor has a slightly larger diameter than the industry average. And that translates to being more efficient as well as giving you more torque. So essentially, the further away the magnets are to the axle, the more efficiently it can spin. So that's what they've done here. And just like with the GMAC, this can accept a modern cassette instead of an old-fashioned freewheel, which is very nice. It modernizes the product pretty nicely. We also have that same quick disconnect waterproof connector, which I love. That should really never be overlooked. It's a must-have feature, in my opinion. And finally, this motor can accept Staterade, and this is a coolant that you can put directly in this motor to help it run cooler and more efficiently. So being able to inject coolant directly in this motor is pretty freaking sweet. I don't know of any others that have this feature. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking to build a custom e-bike, I think 
Grin Technologies with these three hub motors in particular are the go-to option. They slaughter the competition, and even aside from the actual motors themselves, I love the controllers that they use. They're so small, they have waterproof connectors, and it's gonna make the building process and the aesthetics of your bike so much better. Again, I do want to make it clear that I'm not affiliated with this company. I did send them an email like a week back asking if they want to, uh, you know, potentially work together, but I was completely ghosted. I would still love to get one of their motors in hand, install it on my bike, and show it off to you guys, because I honestly think that these are some of the best motors on the market, at the current moment at least. But that's going to do it for the video. hope you guys enjoyed. If you did and you're still watching, you guys know that we appreciate a like on the video. Subscribe. That really strokes my ego. But uh, I'm going to go now. Enjoy the last bit of my ride. And I'll see you guys in the next one.